today, we're going to teach you how to create this glass slide effect intro. Hey everyone, welcome to the Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box, click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First, let's go to the sample color and drop any gradient color on track 2. Then open the titles and pick the default title on track 3. Double click on the title and choose the font of your choice. Enter your text in the blank and change the font size to 120. Scroll down and increase the text spacing by 5. Open advanced window. Enable the text border. Choose any color except green. Reduce the size to 2 and click OK. Take a snapshot and delete both the clips from the timeline. Again, go to the sample color to create a slider. Here you can choose either green or blue color. Here we drop green color on the timeline. Click on the crop tool, choose custom under ratio, and crop color green in 1920 by 280 ratio. Then drop another green color on track 3 and crop it in a ratio of 1920 by 60 and align Y axis position on negative 185. Again, drop the third green color on track 4 and align Y axis position on 185. Take a snapshot of it. Delete all the clips from the timeline. Drop your logo or name snapshot clip on track 1 and increase its duration to 10 seconds. Then drop the slider clip on track 2 and increase its duration to 10 seconds. Change zoom level to 10%. Double click on the slider clip to bring out the animation tab. Rotate the slider in the preview screen and stretch it from both sides to make it longer. Now define its starting position on the left upper corner and take it out of the screen. Now place the playhead at the 1 second position and define the position on the slider just over the first letter. Let's put the playhead at the 9 second position and define the position of the slider at the end of the letters, down the corner of the right side. Now place the playhead at the 10 second position and take the slider out of the screen. Press OK and set the zoom level to fit. Now go to the effects. Search for Luma and apply the Luma Sharp effect on track 3 and export this clip at a higher rate to get a good result. Now delete the slide clip from the timeline and double click on the text or logo clip. Go to the video and increase the scale to 125%. Import the clip which we have just exported. Drop it on track 2. Hide the effect clip on track 3. Double click on the clip on track 2 and enable the chroma key. Set tolerance to 52 and offset to 4. To see the final preview, click on the render preview button. That's it! Thank you for watching! If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!